Hey, welcome. So, do you think you know Breaking Bad? We have compiled a list of 15 questions about the show that you will find tricky to answer. Along the way, you will refresh your favorite memories about the show and its awesome casts and scenes. So, click on that subscribe button below and give a big thumbs up to the video. Let's get into it. Number 1. Fill in the blanks to complete Walter White's residence address. Your time starts now. Here's your answer. The complete address of Walter and Skylar White is 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. Do you know that the White's family home is an actual family home? It's owned by a woman called Fran, since 1973. She admits that a lot of artistic license was taken with the property's interior by the production designer. And she doesn't mind the hundreds of cars and people that slow down in front of her house every month. Number 2. How much money did Walter White spend for Hank's treatment? Your options are A. $157,000 B. $177,000 C. $57,000 Or is it D. $77,000 If not, don't worry. Here comes the answer. This is my confession. I wound up paying his medical bills, which amounted to a little over $177,000. That video is a bunch of lies, Hank. Anybody who knows you will know. $177,000. That's right. Our beloved Mr. White spent little over $177,000 on Hank's treatment. So option B here is the correct answer. Let's go to the next question. Number 3. Here's a rather easy one. What name did Walter White gives to his alter ego? In other words, what is Walter White's clandestine pseudonym? A. Carlsberg B. Goldberg C. Weinberg D. Heisenberg correct. The right answer is option D. Heisenberg. Number 4. There are three parts to this question so watch and listen very closely. After graduate school, Walter White co-founded a company. What was the name of the company? With whom did he co-founded that company? For how much did he sold his financial interest in that company for? the answers to these? Let's check if you have the right ones. Answer to first part of the question is Gray Matter Technologies. This is the company Walter White co-founded with Elliot Schwartz, so there is your answer for part two of the question. And finally, Walter sold his shares in the company to Elliot for just $5,000. Wasn't that a tough one? Number five. Identify these characters in Breaking Bad and tell us their full names. Do you remember these faces? Here are their names. First is Carmen Molina. Then Todd Alquist. Next is Dr. Delca Voli. Fourth is Dwayne Chow. Next is Jane Margolis. Then Tuca Salamanca. Seventh is Bogdan Walianis. And finally, Hul Babino. Let's go to the next question. Number 6. What is the name of DEA's mustache man in the show? Your options are A. Patrick QB. B. Harry Lippenstein. C. Craig Kettleman. Or is it D. He doesn't have any name in the show. Have you heard that name before? The real name of this person is Robert Sanchez. In Breaking Bad, he played a character of a DEA agent named Harry Lippenstein. He was originally supposed to be a biker. 
but then they decided to put him in the DEA office so he would get called back more and, and so he could be around Stephen Michael Quezada, the actor who plays DEA agent Stephen Gomez. The two know each other from playing softball against each other. In fact, Sanchez got the part after playing golf with Quezada and Dean Norris, the actor who plays Hank Schrader on the show. He told Norris to get him a job because he didn't have one at the time, and Norris said he would have someone call him. And to Sanchez's surprise, he did receive a call and keeps getting calls. Number 7. While talking about options to deal with Hank, Saul suggested that Walter may consider sending Hank on a trip to somewhere, just like he did with Mike. What is that place? Of course, there's always, um... Always what? I mean, have you given any thought to um, sending him on a trip to... As you know, our sleazy but favorite lawyer Saul Goodman had some of the best one-liners in Breaking Bad. Do you know where Saul wants Walt to send Hank? Well, here's your answer. Have you given any thought to um, sending him on a trip to Belize? Belize? Yeah. That's right, a trip to Belize. Did you know Belize is located on the Caribbean coast of Northern Central America? It is about two hours by air from Miami, or Dallas, Fort Worth. Soon after the episode aired in which Saul and Walter White has that conversation, the Belize Tourism Board published an advertisement inviting the cast of Breaking Bad for an all-expenses-paid trip to Belize. Now let's go to the next question. Number 8. How much methylamine did Walter White and Jesse Pinkman robbed from the train? Your options are A. About 300 gallons B. About 500 gallons C. About 800 gallons Or is it D. About 1000 gallons The correct answer is option D about 1,000 gallons. In Season 5 Episode 5, Walter White, Mike Ermantrout and Jesse Pinkman and decided to rob methylamine from a freight train. Todd helped them in this robbery and they managed to steal about 1,000 gallons of methylamine. Now to the next question. Number 9. What was the name of the first and last episodes of Breaking Bad? Your options are A. Pilot and Felina. B. Pilot and Over. C. Pilot and Sunset. Or is it D. Pilot and End Times? The correct answer is option A. The first episode of Breaking Bad was Pilot. And the last one was Felina. On to the next question. Number 10. This is an interesting one. How much cash did Walter White intended to leave for his family and how much he actually ended up with when he buried the money in barrels? Your options are A. $100,000 and $600,000 B. $650,000 and $20 million C. $837,000 and $95 million Or is it option D? $737,000 and $80 million. Do you know the answer to this one? Don't worry if you don't. Listen to Mr. White and find out for yourself. That's $240,000 plus $360 plus $137. $737. $737,000, that's what I need. No, 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 listen! I have money! I have money! It's buried down here. It's... $80 million. $80 million. 
That's right, Walter White calculated that he needs to leave behind $737,000 for his family. However, surprise surprise, this is how much he ended up accumulating. A whopping $80 million is what Walt buried in barrels. So your correct answer is option D. Let's go to the next one. Number 11. This is a this is a quick fire round wherein you will be asked random questions about Breaking Bad and you will need to answer the question in one second. Name the acid used by Walt to corrosively dispose of dead bodies. Hydrofluoric acid. Name Venezia pizza's flavor that Walt threw on garage roof. Pepperoni. How many people died on the Wayfair 515 plane crash? 167. Name a Gustavo Fring's fast food restaurant chain? Los Palos Hermanos. Name the video game Jesse plays during Problem Dog? Rush. Which artist's exhibition did Jane and Jesse went to see? Georgia O'Keeffe. Name of Jesse and Badger band they were in together? Twaff Hammer. Jesse Pinkman's superhero in his sketchbook who walks backwards. Rewind out. Money Skyler gave to Ted Beneke for clearing IRS debt. $621,552.33. Money Walt and Skyler finally paid to Bogdan for the car wash. $800,000. What's Brock Mother's name? Andrea Candio. What name does Jesse give to the RV in which he and Walt cook? The Crystal Ship. Walt did Walter blew up Tuco's office with Fulminated Mercury. Bogdan came from which country? Romania. Money offered by Gustavo Fring to Walter White to cook for three months. Three million dollars. Jesse Pinkman's pseudonym before his partnership with Walt? Cap'n Cook. Who does Tuco beat to death in the junkyard? No dose. When Mike is guarding the Polo's truck, where is he shot? In the right ear. Name Jess's signature ingredient in meth cooking? Chili powder. Walt poisoned Brock using what? Poisonous berries of a plant called Lily of the Valley. Who kills Gus? Hector Salamanca. Where do Skyler and Walt say all the extra money is from? Gambling. What is Mike's granddaughter name? Haley Ermintrout. What does Jesse call cow farm? Cow house. Yeah, nothing but cows. Got some big cow house way out that way, like two miles, but I don't see nobody. Cow house? Yeah, where they live. The cows. Oh, whatever, man. Shit, yeah, let's cook here. Name of twin brothers, the cousins, who attacked Hank in parking lot. Lionel and Marco Salamanca. What was Gus's partner name? Max Archiniga. What kind of artist was Jane? Tattoo artist. Lydia's full name? Lydia Rodart Quayle. What did Walt write on Jess's failed chemistry exam? Ridiculous. Apply yourself. Who is Saul's receptionist? Francesca Liddy. Walt Jr.'s best friend's name? Louis Corbett. How much does Walt sell his green car for? $50. And that concludes our quick fire round. Exhausting. Wasn't it? How many did you answer correctly? Let's go to the next question. Number 12. What were the first six GPS coordinates of the location where Walter buried his money? GPS coordinates are plus 34 degrees 59 minutes 20.00 seconds minus 106 degrees 36 minutes 52.00 seconds. That was a tough one I must say. Here's a quick trivia. The GPS coordinates where Walt buried $80 million aren't actually for a location in the middle of the desert. Instead, they lead to a studios in Albuquerque, New Mexico where Breaking Bad, The Avengers, and other productions have shot. Cool. You won't find no money buried there. Or maybe you do, anyways. Here's the next question. Number 13. This one is a bit tricky so watch closely. Identify these places from Breaking Bad. Here are 
are the answers. First is Jesse Pinkman's house. Second is Walter and Skylar's car wash. Next is Hank and Marie's residence. Then Jesse and Jane's apartments. Fifth is Walter White's second residence. And last but not the least, Gustavo Fring's residence. Did you know them all? Number 14. From what country did Gustavo Fring immigrate to the US? Your options are A. Chile B. Mexico C. Honduras Or is it D. Puerto Rico? Do you know the answer to this one? The correct answer is option A. Chile Number 15 and here comes the last question for this show. I can guarantee you 100% that you will laugh at this one. Fill in the blanks to complete Jesse Pinkman's answering machine message. The correct answer is this. Yo 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 1483 to the 3 to the 6 to the 9 representing the ABQ. What up, biatch? Leave it at the tone. It sounds like I am drunk right now. Sounds so wrong. Let's hear it from Jesse Pinkman. Yo, yo, yo. One, four, eight. Three to the three to the six to the nine. Representing the ABQ. What up, biatch? Leave it at the tone. How many of these questions did you get correct? Write to us in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also look at our other interesting videos and keep your brain running. Thanks for watching.